here we have all the tools to do an E30 M3 valve adjustment. We're looking at feeler gauges, at the tenth, hundredth of a place. We're looking at a bunch of shims all measured out. Might need more, we'll see. We have an eight, 10 millimeter. And we have this. This is a absolutely essential tool to do this job. After we measured them all out, all this is in inches. Use these feeler gauges, go in and out of every valve, turn the motor around until you get it open. Measure them out. We had a few that were off by the same amount. So it's been a couple hundred miles since I put a new head on that, or had the head work done. New valve seats, a couple new valves, so these might be the new valves getting seated in, hopefully. I'll save this so I can keep this for my records and keep an eye out on them. Um, so the way it works is these shims have basically last two numbers, they go by fives. 45, so I'm missing a 50 here. There's another 40. This is a 3.6. Sometimes you're missing them, you have to measure them out. But what, basically how it goes is roughly every step up, so from a 40 to 45, you've got one, you have point zero zero one or two so that's the difference between a 13 and an 11 with one shim